Hello and welcome to Nolab. It is May, which means we are closer to the holiday season now. And guess what? New games are coming in May, and there are some new releases, also a surprise comeback for this season. This is our top 10 biggest game coming on May. Let's cut the chit chat and begin the list. Senua Saga Hellblade 2 is the most anticipated game in May for a reason. Behind the hype of the first Senua Saga, the sequel takes a different approach to the audience with more action-oriented and stunning hyper-realistic graphics. They showcased the newest motion capture for Senua's actor, and I thought it was the same thing people used to do in some big-budget Hollywood movie. But we are not talking about the engines for now, the story for the sequel takes place in Iceland with a more grounded atmosphere and the trailer show us that a lot of darker and more brutal fight since the studio emphasized on the weight of the fight and the realistic feedbacks for the combat. It is not Senua's saga without the storytelling, there is still many things left untold within the development of the sequel since Ninja Theory as a developer choose to keep the spoiler away until the release time. Well, I cannot wait to watch this game since it is how I feel playing this game. Speaking about the release date, Senua Saga Hellblade 2 is coming on May 21st, 2024 for Xbox XNS and PC. What will I become? Oh my god. I've been waiting for this game to come to PC for a long time and now it is time to play Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut. But this game has been released on PlayStation before, so what's the difference you ask? I'm going to show you this. Kill or samurai. I will kill them all. everything for my people yes that is it guys pack it up it's coming to pc on may 16 2024 and i cannot wait to see the mods people trying to come out with the sci-fi 3d real-time strategy game in outer space home war 3 bring large-scale space combat into the modern era the story sets up after the end of the Homeworld 2 where the galaxy enjoyed an age of abundance thanks to hyperspace gate network. After a long years of peace, it finally ended with the anomaly start to spread across the galaxy. The game visual look incredibly good, mostly if you are a type of guy who likes space combat and spaceships in general. And speaking about spaceships, the details of your ship is actually decent. The developer trying to make sure the ballistic feels better for the combat since it is a 3D battle. So it's kinda hit or miss, mostly if the camera's angle is in the weird positions. I heard there are some complaints about the camera system and the complex UI makes new player overwhelmed compared to the old games, but let's see what they learned from the demo back in February. If you're one of the enthusiasts of space real-time strategy game, I think you should stay tuned on May 13, 2024 for Homeworld 3 available only for PC. This is where commanders are made. Destiny had something different in store for her. Indica is quite strange game. This is a narrative-driven third-person game where you play as a young nun on a quest of self-awareness, accompanied by, surprise surprise, the devil himself. The story of Indica takes you to alternate 19th century of Russia, where religious vision intertwines with the harsh reality of our cruel world. There are some exploration and environmental puzzles you need to clear for the story to keep progressing 
while on the other side you will have some decisions that questioning your morals between good and evil. It is a unique game with a deep story about faith, which led to more questions. So it is worth checking out since it is coming on May 2nd, 2024 for PlayStation 5, Xbox, XNS, and PC. Back in the first early access, I felt this game had some potential if we talk about how unique the survival system would be. V Rising is an isometric survival game where you play as a vampire. That's where the names came from. If you are new to vampires, it is a creature who need to feed from blood of its victims. So basically you need blood to survive, and you are weak to sunshine. What's new in the 1.0 release here? So basically, there will be improvement in many aspects including combat, open world experience, difficulties modifier will be added, and of course, the quality of life updated. Free Rising 1.0 update is collaborating with Castlevania which include Dracula as the new boss, as well as new enemies tied to the famous vampire. If you're enjoying survival games with some unique twists, I think Fear Rising can be one of the best choices you try on May 8, 2024 on PlayStation 5 and PC. It's been a long time coming for this one. World of Goo 2 is a puzzle game where you play as wobbly balls of goo, connecting each other to build structure that helps you solve some basic base puzzles. New addition for the sequel is introduction of co-op gameplay, which up to 8 players, so you can work together placing your goo balls to clear the obstacles. It is a fun puzzle game that make you think once in a while, and with the addition of co-op, imagine how chaotic the level could be. If you are wondering when it's going to be released, it's coming on May 23rd, 2024 for PC and Switch. I was not a big fan of Cat until I played Stray back in 2021. Moving on to 2024, we got a new cat game called Little Kitty Big City. It is about being a cat, and yes, you are the cat, and the whole city is your playground. There is no actual objective besides wandering the open world and meeting people around the way and going back home. But there is some unique things about the game where you can leap across the rooftop and knocking over objects and even bumping into some pedestrian just like what the cat always do. Of course, besides being a cat, you can also meet other stray animals as you see in the trailer. They are offering some companionship that can help you through your journey. I think this is a presence for cat enthusiasts. Just enjoy the game with a relaxing atmosphere and just being a cat in general. The game is coming soon on May 9, 2024 for Xbox, PC, and Switch. Harvest Sun is a horror game where you are put into the desperate fights for survival against a terrifying curse. The game is based in the dark European folklore settings, bring the tension of horror games and replayability from roguelites together, a feature rarely explored in the genre. In the game, players will be able to engage in stealth as they sneak their way through the cornfields of Luna Nova, the town that you're playing in and meet a plentiful cast of characters, each with their own stories and personalities that piece together the truth of the town curse through the fragments of their past. Players will also have to survive the horror of the night by sacrificing health to gain useful tools, and face a hostile environment all while confronting monsters bigger than you. And the best strategy and decision making will result in the best reward. The game is coming on May 22nd, 2024, exclusively for PC. Multiversus is getting a major overhaul for its official launch. You might probably have seen Multiversus before in the open beta back in 2022 and randomly missing in the middle of 2023. But now they are back with the official launch with a full overhaul and bunch of new content ahead. Starting from new characters and more stages available at launch, PvE mode is also now a brand new addition, offering players who enjoy their time playing solo. 
The big reason they took one year off is because the game is being rebuilt on Unreal Engine 5 promising a significant visual upgrade, which also improved their connection quality to prevent lag in online experience. If you're enjoying Multiverses, the good news is it's coming back for full launch on May 28, 2024 for PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. Dude, <laughs> I look good in a monocle. I've been hyped for the Wuthering Wave release for quite a while. This is a gacha game like Genshin Impact and before you skip this video, I would like to say that the game looks amazing and I will give it a chance. Wuthering Wave is an anime open world gacha game that you might probably heard of for the last 4 years been quite adept in many mobile games and eventually some of them fade away. But why do I think Wuthering Waves could be different? Wuthering Waves has a high mobility focus on exploration. Running does not consume any stamina and you can walk through walls. Basically, fast pace in everything. And yes, it includes the combat. It is also quick and punishing at some boss fights because the thing you need to understand, even though there is no elemental reaction and such, this game has a parry and perfect dodge mechanic. So it might be quite challenging if, let's say, you are a mobile player or a hyping internet enjoyer. The most of the time I played mobile games, we saw a lot of cheap knockoff or cash grab game released without any promising future and the like direction. But judge me if I'm wrong. Wuthering Wave is trying to prove to everyone why it's going to be a huge hit, mostly in anime games market where there is a plenty of fish in the sea. So my thought is that this is a promising anime game and I'll play it when it's released on May 22nd, 2024 on PlayStation, PC, and mobile. But the PlayStation player will have slightly delay with no date announced yet. You'll need a top-notch team to win this one. I'm going to put one additional here. It is still in alpha version, but I'm gonna try it anyway. This is Marvel Rivals, a space space 6 vs 6 hero brawl. Basically, if you play Overwatch, you're probably familiar with this one. So, it is an Overwatch with Marvel characters. Yes, it is a free to play, so you can try it for free. The close alpha will be from May 10 until the 20th for PC only. And that's wrapping all the games coming in May according to my list. And if you have any games that I miss or something you want to play but it is not on the list, feel free to comment down below so we can discuss it. It's been a quiet month lately and many of the game's releases might be holding back by the companies and I couldn't blame them either they are cooking something or the mass delay could happen behind the screen. We don't know that yet. But that's it. That's all the top 10 games we like to play in May and I hope you like it. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you can watch our game news and gameplay in the future. I'll leave the social media here to grab some follows. It's been a good time and I'll see you guys next time. Stay knowledge guys.